Hello all, welcome to Delbumi Technical Trainings. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we invoke a REST API or REST web service from Delbumi. It is one of the very simple sample, but one of the most used functionality in Delbumi. So like uh, as an integration developer, you'll be working with multiple number of ERPs or multiple number of business uh, applications. So we just need to understand how do we invoke a REST web service from Delbumi. So here I'm taking Oracle Cloud ERP example, Cloud SaaS REST example. So this is our outline. I'll show you the REST demo. And before that, you know, like to invoke a REST web service, we have to understand which REST web service you want to invoke, right? What details we are expecting from the third party system which you want to invoke. So this is my Delbumi process. In this, if you observe, I just have only three components, right? Start stop and the the middle one which is a http client so this is one of the very important process which based on which you will be calling a rest web service so here uh, dell Bumi does not provide any predefined oracle cloud adapter we have to use a generic technical connection which is available okay so we have three components to be designed here so i'm just considering these icons whatever you have it like a start invoke supplier rest stop these are the components you can consider it as the total one is a your process flow okay so start and stop there is nothing we have to do it there is no logic is applied we just we have to select drag and drop and that's it okay so let me go through that so this is start shape so start shape will not have any connection like when once you just create a new process automatically it will ask you what is the shape you want to connect so initially we'll just always go with no data so that it will not have any logic to be defined but it's just a starting process and similarly, we have another shape called stop shape, drag and drop the stop shape, okay? Now, coming to the very important one, okay? So this is the HTTP client. What you do is, I'll just go through the instance then we can get a clear clarity. So now, so I'll, I'll just define again, okay? So maybe for understanding purpose, what you can do is, if you just observe, right? This is, the, this is my HTTP client. So just search for that HTTP client, drag and drop, okay? So in the HTTP client, there are few important things we have to consider. So in this connection shape, so just mention invoke rest client and the connector type is HTTP client. The action is get. So in the rest, there are a lot number of uh, actions are there, but I don't want to get into deeper of that. So this is my connector and now connection, right? So nothing but which particular web service you want to invoke, right? So what you do is click on this plus symbol. Okay, click on this plus symbol, we have to mention the source provider rest details right click on create now it will ask you what is the url you want to invoke right so let me get my url so this is my url okay and now it is asking what it what is authentication so few web services may not have an authentication but just this oracle cloud rest web service will have a basic authentication so i just need to mention that i'll just say my username uh, the respective username password i have here yeah this is my password i'll just click on set and set the password now this is done right so just click on close or save and close now the connection is done but this is not enough right you require an operation also it so we have to carefully understand the source provider rest web service details now in my case i'll just go through my oracle cloud url so it provides the information about what is the rest web service what is the request parameter and what is the response also so we have to carefully understand before you perform all these steps right so now this is my operation and this is my rest url and this is my response right this response will get it within a json format now yeah where are we one minute one minute okay yeah so this is a connection we have done and the next thing is the operation right so so in the operation so in the connection we just mentioned the url in the operation we have to mention few more details click on this create symbol and it is asking what is the action you want to perform right so it is a get connection and request profile type and response profile type right so what is the response you're expecting so for this rest web, web service we're expecting a json format so what i do is i'll select it as json now it is asking the so what exactly response profile means like you are invoking a web service we know that response uh, web service always provides an output right so that is nothing but a response you are you are invoking it it is responding you something so how does the response looks like right what is the format it is right so now within the cloud instance you may not get the proper information about how exactly it looks like what what is the best thing is use any of the uh, any of the rest web service client so i have used soap web service 
I invoked a web, I invoked this REST client and I got the output. So save the sample data. So like I just saved here, supply data.json is my data. So what I do is I just saved in my system. And then in the response profile, what I do is, so here click on plus symbol, right? So click on import. So choose a file, click on this one. It will validate whether it's a JSON or not. It will identify the information. Okay. Now profile loaded root element name root click on finish save and close right and now our connection operation is also done right this is my response profile i'm not sending any input parameters i'm just expecting a set of output parameters right so these are the http methods right it uh, it supports different set of things and now click on save and close now here if you observe in this connection shape there are two things we have done one is connection and another one is operation right and click on okay so now this is done right and once this is done what you can do is you can you can just connect your start to this and connect this endpoint to stop that's it and now what i do is i'll just click on save and click on test and let's see what will happen select your autumn click on run test i have a local autumn in my system let's see what it provides okay so click on the this one okay and click on view so it provided 172 kb of data perfect so we are able to get the json data right so 4491 were the data like uh, if you observe it i got i mean if you observe my real data so when i clicked on so rest web service from sopi i got around four three hundred lines and here i got around four four nine one maybe big based on the format or something it would have been a different so this is one of the very simple example to invoke a rest web service but this particular logic you can apply to any rest web service provider it is not only oracle cloud it can apply to any of the rest web service provider so i was telling you that you know like or like you don't have adapters for oracle right so if you observe carefully here if you just search with rest it provides a lot number of adapters for the different set of uh, what you say providers but you don't have any oracle rest rest adapter oracle cloud rest adapter we have oracle e-business suit adapter sql load adapter as well as crm adapter but you don't have any oracle sas or oracle fusion adapters there are no fusion adapters here so the only way we have to invoke rest web service is using a http client so this http client is nothing but this is a technology adapter we have to use it for the purpose of invoking a rest web service what you can do is click on connect here so in the technology we have http client so very simple thing it just required three components start and http shape or you can call it as shape start shape http client shape as well as stop shape so in the http client what is the thing you have required so if we just click on configure so i have a proper naming convention it is very difficult to remember all those things right that's the reason you have to always have a proper naming convention for your uh, these particular connection operations or display names whatever you are having it so action is get connection is rest supplier connection where we provide our web service username password details as well as the url and the operation we just mentioned what is a response profile and also we mentioned what is the operation you would like to perform whether it's a get put patch whatever it is right so and then what are the tools you require so the tools you require is like make sure that you have a response profile make sure that you have a delbomi instance and you have a either local item or a cloud item it is fine okay thank you